Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing another New Orleans collaboration beer. This is with Zoni Mash and Nola. It is called, it is called Feed the Second Line by the Crew of Red Beans, Volume 2. Blueberry Lemon Sour Ale, 4.5% alcohol. Proceeds from the sale of this beer support the different people in New Orleans, different uh, musicians, social clubs, and parades. Right, because during the pandemic, they couldn't work. Yeah, our, our artwork by Magda Borizia. And it's an independent craft beer collaboration. You got this for a good price. 99 cents. Hey, Parker, wait. It's Best Buy November 27, 2020. Well, this is way past that, but for 99 cents, we'll see what it turns out to be. Now, some of the videos we'd be arguing and saying, uh, can you let me speak? And what are you talking about? And all that. And then people will interpret it like, man, y'all don't get along too well. There's some kind of tension. But you don't understand. That's not really the way it is. It's just that we're just talking about it. Right. This is Bruce Willis being arranged. Get that song. That's just the way it is. That's never change. That's just the way it is. No, but I mean... I, I, yeah, I've heard that song. But no, but I, I mean, people are maybe misinterpreting what's happening. I don't know why. That happens often. No, but you know, misinterpretation with people. Think. Oh, so you're saying that we don't get along and that we... I never said that. I think we get along fine. Ooh, look at that. Look at this red thing. Wow. It's kind of got like a, like a grape color. It's, it's like Mike's Harder. Yeah. Purple. I mean, Mike's hard. All right. Go on, I ain't scared. Pour it in there. No, you, you can just go ahead and take it. No, you, you got you, You're right. Yeah, you can have you it. Didn't. No, I don't want it. I, I didn't do it. that on purpose. I, I don't want it. I don't want it. And now the trouble starts again. I don't like the gunk. Have y'all ever seen me drink that stuff? It's sort of like a fixation, like a, like a idiosyncratic thing. All right, anyway. It smells so good to me. Thin rose head. The appearance is like Mississippi mud water on a purple tint. It, it, there is sort of a Jay would say red purple. Pink. A red purple thing. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of though. It does remind me of something like a smoothie. It's like the color of a smoothie. You make a smoothie with great. I almost said Pedialyte. Yeah, well, you just, you just kind of killed it for the taste bud on us, man. Pedialyte, really? Ah, uh, yeah, that, yeah, doesn't it kind of look like... You I, keep it kind of beer style, so I'm not going to lose this. I mean, really. Okay, so come on. All right, so the, the appearance the is... Him the yeah, it's kind of like like kind of, kind of like a prune, juicy... It's not that dark. It's just color. It's, oh, you can still smell the blueberries in us. Blueberries and the citrus is coming through. Doesn't it's say still. blueberry and lemon. I think I'm picking up the. Yep, blueberry and lemon. Blueberry sour and yeah. lemon. So, all right. So, cheers. Let's go ahead and taste this. See what it's all about. We talked about in the past. Um, no, you didn't talk about it. I talked about it. How I've been known. I've been known to buy like inexpensive, you could say cheap, flavored beers. Cheap? They're like really it's sugar. Just, it's just call it what it is. Cheap. I don't want, I, they use a lot of sugar and all, but crap. Ish. Well, we'll delete this video later. But um, no, but I'm, I'm saying that the, the whole craft beer world is into that too. Flavored beers, flavored beers. and. Um, there's a lot of crossover in the flavor between the macro and the craft, right. actually. Hoboish. You could say it's a hobo beer. You could say those are uh, vagrant beers or whatever. But um, you, you, if you do a serious examination of them, there's a lot of crossover. Um, it's as uncomfortable as it might make people feel. This smells like baby aspirin. <clears throat> what? Baby aspirin. Yeah, like St. Joseph baby aspirin. You gotta back up a little bit to get in the video. Back up and over, yeah. You're in it. 
like St. Joseph's baby aspirin, which is like an orange flavor tang thing. It's not a bad aroma because, you know, the babies like it. They got a fever, give them St. Joseph's baby aspirin, don't give them too much. You know, fever and aspirin don't mix. It's uh, real light, like it goes up. Go ahead and taste it so you can comment on that. All right. It's very sulcery. Rare. That is yeah. tart like lemon. Yeah, it's almost like that does, uh, what are those things that everybody's running down at to, get, to drink rather than beer? Oh, I was going to say lemon heads. Oh, seltzers? Seltzer. It's like a seltzer. Which, which are a beer, if you read the label carefully. A lot of people don't, they don't read the label of seltzers carefully because it's in really almost microscopic print. It'll say beer. <laughs> All right, um. This beer so made out of sugar cane, but still. This does not taste like beer at all. I'm not saying it's bad. It just does not taste like beer at all. It tastes... It has a pale malt underbody, and I've said that with them. Cheapo, like it's you're calling junk light. beers. I didn't say junk. Ish say beers. <laughs> but they have like a malt... Even with those, you can pick up a pale malt underbody and you can pick that up here but the flavor is hmm. I like the artwork man I got some gunk going on the bottom of mine look at this artwork I gotta save this for a photo I wasn't taking photos of the rest um this is a strange product. It's weird. Weird not meaning bad, just weird. It's lemony tart. Uh-huh. I don't know about the... It's not blueberry. I mean, if somebody told me... That, no, I would never guess it was a blueberry, no. It looks uh, you like... Know what? Yeah, I can guess it's blueberry because I eat blueberries and blueberry peel has kind of a cause has kind of a tannin to us and that that's what I'm getting at. I'm not getting the sugar blueberry that maybe you're used to in pop tarts, but I'm getting a real blueberry out of this. So See, there's like definitely an, blueberry. An well, I know shot. what he's talking about. No, it's not. I I know what you eat. I eat organic stuff. This one don't. So this has got like the organic blueberry peel on the outside of it and the inside. This looks like this organic pomegranate juice that you can buy at the store. It kind of does. Yeah. Now we've been out to the, uh, no, we've never been to Zoni Mash. <clears throat> we've been to Perlou's. Perlou. I haven't eaten a blueberry Pop Tart since like two days ago, you know. Um, it was that, um, frosted or not frosted? It was frosted because I got it for 99 cents. I rather unfrosted. Bless it's just very heart. tart. It's very tart. It's tart. It is, it is so tart. tart. <sighs> but look at all oh, the residue at the oh. bottom. Have you gotten there yet? Yeah. Take a big old squirt. No, but I want to take a photo. Um, <clears throat> I give it an A. I mean, yeah, heavy body it is heavy body, and um, but the alcohol is only four and a half. It's pretty tart. Bitterness is low. It's a mostly dry finish. I mean, if you want to drink a fruit flavored beer, I mean, you could everywhere you turn in a grocery store, front to the left, good to stuff. the right, behind yourself. There's going to be a fruit flavored beer. Good stuff. Artificially flavored, naturally flavored. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you know it's it's seven months old now. <laughs> So it's good stuff. I like it. I drink it again. Yeah, especially for a dollar a can. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to make everything price point. Go ahead. That was like literally the theme that you brought in Welcome when you J brought it. Price point. That was literally the theme that you 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 set up when yeah. you brought these over here. Right, right. Hey, I bought all these beers for a dollar. Let's do reviews and see how they work as a dollar expired beer. I said, okay, that's a good theme. Right? I do. You did say that. Okay, so, um. But price point's always your point. 
It's not always my point, but it has to be taken into account because people have to buy the products. It's not like these companies are giving the stuff away. So, um, <clears throat> I'll go with a, about 93 out of 100. It's an A. Yeah, I'll go up there at like about a 91. I think it's pretty darn good. So, not A minus. But it's good. It's not my style. 91 out of 100, 93, that's a two-point difference out of 100. It's not much of a difference. So, <clears throat> if you see it, buy it. I mean, the normal price, you're going to pay about $5 a can. Sure. You're going to pay, yeah. you're gonna pay $20 a four-pack. But if you find it on a discount for a dollar, it's even better. <laughs> buy it up. But you, you know, it's a, it's a trade-off. You, you got to get the cans, try them out. And if they're good, you go back and get the rest of them, just like I told the guy. So, hey, if this is good, I'm coming back. So, guess what? You're going I'm back. coming back, saving time. I don't know if I'd buy a clear glass bottle, months old beer though. No. The can, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, y'all, we're going to say laissez les bon temps relate. Y'all go down to Jefferson Parish and go to saving time. time in Harahan. On Louisiana Highway 48, westbound.